YouTube, YouTube, what's good with y'all? I appreciate y'all sticking with me. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of the hurricane right now. Anybody in Florida that's impacted, or anybody down south that's impacted in the Caribbean, I feel for y'all. We can make it through this, and we will make it through this. I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments. Hey, I want to start my mailbox store. What do I need? Is it possible? But some of you out there are wondering, it might just be you. Maybe you have a business partner, maybe you don't. It might just be you and you're thinking, I want to start a mailbox store, but is this something that I can do by myself? I'm going to answer that for you guys today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm not going to have any help from Francisco or Jonathan or anybody today. If you're anything like me, it's first thing in the morning and it looks outside like it does, you got to do one thing to prepare yourself for the day. All right, what up, y'all? So, still uh, still early in the morning. Usually it's kind of kind of dreary on a Tuesday morning, especially when it's raining like it is right now, but got some good news today. Dear Napoleon Suarez, that's me. This letter is to inform you that you will receive a rebate of a portion of your health insurance premium. This is a rebate required by the Affordable Care Act, the health reform law. Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hey, Napoleon. I think I'm picking up a package today. Okay. Uh, it looks like I got one package for you. Let me just yeah, double check here. Oh, yeah. Is that for you? Because it just had the first name on there. I, I wasn't sure yeah, if that was for you. So what's, what's weird about it is they delivered the same package to my house. I don't know. It's confusing, but I'm pretty sure it's me, but I'll double check. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I got it here for you. Are you on your way now? All right, sounds good. I'll get it ready for you. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, so as you can hear, a customer just called, let me know she's on her way to pick up a package. What I normally do is when customers do that, I just have everything ready for them so they can come in, grab their package, and go. Makes it easier, too, because the flow of customers coming in can just keep moving. So that may be something you want to do for your customers. Give them a number that they can call so they can call in or text in, let you know ahead of time so that way they come. They can grab their stuff, they can keep it moving, and you can move right to the next customer. If you're running your store by yourself, that'll really help you out a lot. All right, and it looks like UPS just showed up now, so uh, it's about 10.05. Yo, Alfonso, what up, man, what up? I'm all right. I know it ain't the, the best day out here, but uh, I appreciate your help, bro. Just say how many you got total for me today? Uh, right now you got 54 left. 54 left, fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but these are up. Let me finish these airs and I'll come back. All right, sounds good, man. So he dropped off the airs here. There's just three. I'm gonna put these away and then uh, I'll see UPS in a little bit. All right, so one thing about starting your own business is that there's all types of things that you don't know yet. Sometimes you need somebody that's a little bit ahead of you to point those things out so you can be like, oh, I didn't think about that. When you run your own business by yourself, especially a business like this, that at any given time somebody can come, if USPS comes and you're not there, they may not come until tomorrow, which could really jam somebody up. So when you run a business by yourself, what do you do when you have to use the bathroom? I'm gonna show you. So UPS just got here and I think I saw the Amazon truck out there. I'm hoping that's not the Amazon truck and if it is, I'm hoping it's not our Amazon truck because the UPS guy said he got 54. So I'm going to help him bring him in, in the rain because you know those are my people. I got to help them out. Hopefully Amazon is far enough away where they get here by the time I'm done putting away these UPS packages. So I'll see you all in a little bit. <laughs> So as you can see, Amazon just got here too. It's about to be a busy morning. That was about 20 minutes of bringing stuff in. So I got packages everywhere now. Amazon showed up, UPS showed up. There's probably about 100 packages in here right now. All right, 
So FedEx and USPS just showed up just now. This ain't nothing. <laughs> Along with all this over here. Y'all, just finished putting away about 99% of the packages. It's about 1, 110 right now, and I started at 11:30, so about an hour and 40 minutes or so. I still got these big ones to put away, which there's only about six or seven of them, so uh, it shouldn't take me too long. But I'm gonna go ahead and put those last few away, and hope I can grab another cup of coffee and maybe a little lunch. Alright y'all, so it's about 1.30 and I started at 11.30. So that was about two hours non-stop. Customers coming in, me putting away packages, handling some other things that, that came up, answering the phone, dealing with any other type of issues that arise in the office. That's just how it is. That's what you're going to have to deal with. So you have to ask yourself, are you ready physically and mentally to be able to come in the office have things show up and then for two hours straight lift packages move things around help customers out all while having a smile and trying to give the best customer service you can you know that's something that i do every day because i enjoy it i know that as long as i work really hard good things are going to happen but you have to ask yourself is that something that you're willing to do and this isn't to flex or anything like that this is just to show you what it takes to do something like this but the good thing is is that if everybody shows up back to back to back like that then you have the rest of the day to do marketing. You have the rest of the day to help customers. You have the rest of the day to tidy up your store, to build new things. Um, speaking of building new things. that whole thing together probably took me another hour just for this all right so USPS just showed up they came with all this hey what's up y'all it's about four o'clock days kind of winding down a little bit still gray and nasty out so not as many people coming in but when to take this time to remind you that we have an Instagram account get fish box i'll put that somewhere at the bottom of the screen here and also if some of you guys want to reach out and need some information on starting your own mailbox store you want to just ask somebody some questions um, take advantage of me right now you know i don't have as many people hitting me up so if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to email me so i'll put that right down here on the bottom somewhere and send me a message let me know what you're looking for if you need some help and i'll do my best to answer it any way i can if you have any questions or at least try to point you in the right direction so as you can see amazon prime day another version of amazon prime day is coming up and it's gonna be crazy i have no idea what to expect i got four more actually five more shelves one is delayed but four of them said they should be here anytime between the 7th and the 14th so i'm hoping it's on the earlier side because if not i might be jammed pretty badly come amazon prime day because uh, i got space but you know it runs out really quickly it's the last half hour of the day as many of you know i do deliveries on tuesdays and thursdays so i'm gonna get that ready and then i'm gonna close up shop so i'll see you guys in a little bit All right, so that's it for the deliveries. As you can see, I got a nice little stack here. Got my list here for the night. Packages, big ones, small ones for tonight, so not that bad. 
It's a little dark out there now because you know how it is in the fall, winter time. It gets dark real early. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here. This is just a little taste of what it would be like to manage your own fish box store, to run things all by yourself. As you guys can see, I didn't have any help today. It was all me. It was really challenging earlier because everybody showed up at the same time. Customers were coming in. Packages were getting thrown everywhere. But I was able to make it through. I think and I know that you can make it through if I can make it through because I had to go through some stuff in order to make it here. So if you're just getting started and you're wondering, can I start my own mailbox store by myself? The answer is absolutely yes. On that note, I'll end it right there. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.